And I want to just share with you something that a GB News viewer shared with us um, this afternoon, actually. Let me just hang on, because we're just literally going to show it. So hold on. So this is, uh, yeah, so this is footage from, um, a I think it's a lady, um, who sent it in today, Nikki. So she's filming um, out of that window. So this is a, a Portsmouth hospital. And, you know, I want to share this with you because what you're looking at there, if you're listening, not watching, let me explain. It's basically a huge, um, long line of ambulances, basically, Nikki uh, says, waiting to drop off patients. And this is the challenge, isn't it? Because it's not just about uh, kind of nurses, staff, problems here, problems there. You know, when you look at those images, it fills me with sadness, actually. I don't know if I can replay it. Can I get it back on screen again in case you missed it and you was, I don't know, eating your tea or something and you wasn't um, paying attention to me? So this is a viewer video from Nikki. This is outside the Portsmouth Hospital. Um, and what she's saying is, this is her words, not mine, 34 ambulances, she's saying, uh, queuing to deliver patients to A&E. Uh, it's her mum-in-law had a fall on Wednesday night. The ambulance attended, get this, on Thursday afternoon. What? Wednesday night, you have your fall. Thursday afternoon, the ambulance arrived. We arrived at A&E around 5pm and joined a queue of more than 20 ambulances. Each ambulance had two paramedics. They all had their engines running to keep the patients warm, etc. She says, we waited in the ambulance for over seven hours, eventually making it to A&E at 20 to 1 the following morning. I mean, goodness me. Like, look at that. That is the state of the NHS. This is a broken NHS, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's broken. And, you know, when you look at that and, and think about the staff that are actually having to deal with all of that, not to, you know, be all wishy-washy, but think about how that might impact their mental health, knowing that because of how stretched things are, people are actually dying on mass or you know having deaths that may have been preventable on their watch you do have to sort of empathize with that